I'm Brad Jordan, Solid Waste Manager for Reno County. For large items that don't fit in your trash bin or yard debris, we offer collection every other week. We know that guidelines and schedules can be difficult to understand, so this short video will provide you with some helpful tips. Every resident is assigned either an A or B week to receive bulk and brush collection service. Bulk and brush must be placed in separate piles as they are picked up by different trucks. Bulk and brush should be placed to the curb no earlier than the Saturday before your scheduled collection day and no later than 7 a.m. on the scheduled collection day. Please do not place bulk or brush material on top of above ground electrical boxes, cable boxes, or any other above ground obstructions, as this can be dangerous for our team members. Brush collection is picked up by equipment operators using a knuckle boom truck. Equipment operators utilize controls to operate a knuckle boom crane to lift brush above the truck and dump it into the body. Brush collection piles should be no larger than a pickup truck bed or 6x6x6. Six six six. Brush must be placed as close as possible to the curb line or road and 5 feet away from any horizontal obstruction. We will need to have overhead clearance so that equipment operation is not impaired or restricted. Brush resulting from normal property maintenance may not exceed 6 feet in length or 12 inches in diameter. Tree stumps less than 1 foot in width must be free of all dirt, grass, clumps, etc. in order to be collected by county personnel. Stumps must be placed manually at the curb in order to be collected. We do not pick up brush resulting from contractors, commercial tree trimming operations, or land clearing. Any material that may be windblown, including grass clippings and leaves, must be bagged, tied, and weigh no more than 30 pounds. Bulk collection is picked up by equipment operators and refuse collectors using a rear load refuse truck. These staff members load bulk items by hand into the body of the truck. Bulk collection piles should be no larger than a pickup truck bed or 6x6x6. Six six six. Bulk must be placed as close as possible to the curb line or road and 5 feet away from any obstruction. The items must be completely clear of any overhanging wires or branches. Bulk items include materials resulting from normal household activity. That means things like appliances, furniture, up to four tires, up to four pallets, bicycles, disassembled lawn furniture or swing sets, cardboard, trash generated from moving or small amounts of homeowner generated building materials. This construction material must be less than three feet in length and weigh less than 30 pounds per piece. We accept lumber, landscape timber, wood from tree paneling, small amounts of containerized drywall or ceiling tile, and PVC or galvanized pipe. Latex paint may be placed out for bulk collection after it is completely dried. Residents may mix sawdust, sand, or kitty litter with wet paint to aid in the drying process. Doors from refrigerators, freezers, and other airtight storage must be removed prior to being placed out for collection, according to Virginia law. Any glass items such as mirrors, windows, or shower doors must be taped and bagged. If you have a carpet, we ask that it be rolled and not exceed six feet. We don't pick up concrete, asphalt, pavement, roofing shingles, or tiles, mulch, dirt, rock, debris, hazardous materials, animal carcasses, automobile parts, propane tanks, and riding lawnmowers. Roanoke County does not provide bulk and brush collection to commercial customers. County residents may take 12 pickup truck loads of bulk and brush originating from their residents to one of the Roanoke Valley Resource Authority transfer stations, free of charge. Waivers may be issued by the county if a resident has an extenuating circumstance that requires them to need more than 12 loads. Please contact our office at 540-387-6225 if you have any questions related to bulk and brush collection or if you need to request a waiver for more than 12 loads to be taken to the Roanoke Valley Resource Authority.